was about 9.30, I just woke up, um, and I've made some decisions, um, I'm not going to get done this project, um, by the end of the day, well, maybe I will, um, but I've got four cigarettes left, um, and I, I, I need to take a shower, um, I need to give myself a couple of days before I boost my estrogen dosage, starting on the 13th, um, and it's going to get cold. So, um, I'm going to try to get as much as I can done in the next few hours while I get through the last couple of cigarettes. Um, and then, um, I mean, I'm not done, but I, I, I need to, I, I need to take that jump anyways. Um, I've caught up anyways. Um, I'm caught up until June, so I've got six months, and I think I can finish this in the next, well, I, I hope in the next six months that I'm quite a bit, in, in the next six months I should be moving well past 2004 um, in, in, in the discography construction. So, um, I, I, I feel I have time to, I mean, if I have to take a few days to, you know, sleep it off, then so be it. It might slow down the, um, you know, upload sequence a little, but I, I have time and I need to take that jump. So, um, the logic around, you know, it was nice out, um, I only got a little bit to do, um, was valid, but has no past, and I, I need to I need to cut myself off. So that's this afternoon. Um, we'll see how long I can stay awake for. Um, see how long I can focus for. If I, if I find myself like scatterbrained and out of it, I'll just stop. Maybe do some cleaning. Um, but um, I, I'm going to try to push through as much as I can, anyways, um, and um, really um, take this final push. Um, it is the ninth today, so. Um, I wanted to give myself a week, that's not going to happen, but, um, yeah, a couple of days is good enough anyways. Um, and, and I think the shower will probably really help. Um, it, it's been far too long. Um, I smell bad. Um, I tend to get lost in these, in these sort of, I don't want to call it a funk. Because it's not a funk, it's more like a, um, it's, it's almost more like obsessive compulsion, um, where I just get, like, obsessed with something and, like, everything else, I mean, like, I haven't done laundry since October, um, <laughs> um, so I just, cause I mean, I've been just singularly focused, um, like, like, everything else just, you know, becomes meaningless, um, that's, that's the only thing that's not meaningless, right, you know, it's, uh, Stop wasting your time. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like you can find a valuable way to spend your time. At, at the end of the day, everything's a waste of time, right? You might as well waste your time uh, enjoyably, um, rather than um, doing something that you don't like. Um, considering that you really have no choice but to waste your time, one way or the other, right? Um, you know, or, or I, I used to always throw this argument at smokers. Um, although, like, like I say, I was, uh, I was very anti-smoking for most of my life. Um, although that's actually not true anymore, I'd say maybe the first half of my life, um, and uh, up to this point, hopefully it's not <laughs> the first half of my life. Hopefully I got a little bit longer to go, anyways. Um, but um, I, I used to always say that to smokers, and I was like, "But you think you're not gonna die? You, you think you're gonna live forever?" Uh, or sorry, to, to, to non-smokers, you know, it's like, if you smoke, you will die. If you don't smoke, you will die. You know, like, it, like, it's not, you know, it's, it's a, what, what do you, you know, and they say that it cuts off 10 years of your life. Well, you know, if if you make it to 90 instead of 100, or you make it to 70 instead of 80, or even if you make it to 60 instead of 70, those last years aren't productive. They're not, I mean, I, I, I know that my mindset will change a little once I get there, if I get there, you know, but it, it, at the same time, it, it, it's an objective truth that, you know, you get to a certain age, and you're just, you know, checking off the calendar dates, you know, waiting for the end kind of thing. You, you don't really get anything done, you know, 
you know, it gets... There's been a lot of discussion in Canada about the retirement date, you know, and... The, the previous government moved it from 65 to 67. Um, I, 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 to me, I think the question is whether it's like a mandatory retirement date. You know, I think if people want to work until they're 80, and, and they can do it, you know, when they're in control of themselves and everything, um, I, like, you gotta tell someone, you know, go at home and, you know, yell at the newspaper. Like, it's, like, that. it's not... You know, if somebody's in control of them, themselves, if they can contribute to a to an organization and the organization wants them there, it seems ridiculous to me to have this date. Um, but at the same time, um, if people want out, then that's available should be available too, kind of thing, right? Um, the reality, a lot of people don't realize this. The reality is that the reason sixty five was chosen was because it was life expectancy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was this was actually quite quite a while ago, right? I mean, it was in like the I don't know the '30s or the '40s. I, I think it was a part of the New Deal. The, the, we talk about the New Deal, like it's it, the New Deal was the American portion of something that happened. You know, it happened in Britain a little earlier. It happened in Canada maybe a little later, but I mean, it it, it happened in all of the English speaking countries. You know, this this kind of movement towards um, kind of a soft socialism um, in order to maintain capitalism. Let's, let's be clear about that. Um, these people realized that uh, their system was about to collapse and they made some changes to prevent it from collapsing. Um, but, but that was one of them. And like, like 65 wasn't, it, it wasn't chosen so that you work until you're 65 and then you have a nice, you know, 30 year retirement. It was chosen because most people don't make it to 65. Um, and if you, you know, if you beat the odds and, and you make it longer than life expectancy, well then, you know, you can spend some time with your grandkids kind of thing. Um, it's not true anymore. Life expectancy is like 80. And if they were to follow that logic, um, they would increase the retirement age not from 65 to 67, but from 65 to 80 or 78 or whatever it is. Um, so it, it, it's, <laughs> you know, it, just getting your head around it, right? I mean, people get upset. I mean, it, people have become used to this concept, but at the same time, I know there's a lot of people um, that, and I know my grandmother was the opposite. She retired at 65. Like the day she turned 65, she got her, she got her pension from the bank and she, she worked as a, as a bank teller. Uh, so she got her pension, and and that was like she she she's she's been laughing ever since. She's in her, uh, she's she's in her mid mid to late seventies now. Um, but uh, I, I actually don't know her exact age. I guess she was born sometime in the. Well, I know my mother was. I know she was young when she had my mother. So Western Canadian, not. Not anything funny, you know. Not, you know, like the what are those people called? Those, those Mormons up, uh, up in BC and Bountiful. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy like that. But it was, you know, an agrarian-based society, and you got married and had kids. Like at that time, in that place in the world, you would have children by the time you were twenty. That was normal. Um, Again, that's a change that's happened that, I mean, like, people don't, like, people don't have kids until they're 30 or nowadays, you know? Like, like when, when a 25 or 26-year-old has a kid nowadays, people think, geez, you're so young. Why are you having kids so young? You know? At, at the time, that would have been like, you're over the hill, you know? If you don't have, you don't have kids in a family, you, you missed out. Um... Just, just crazy stuff. But I mean, I guess she would have been born in the late thirties or early forties. So, yeah, she's in her, she's in her mid to late seventies. Um, and and she's so she's been retired for like, well, when did she retire? And she retired about uh, almost twenty years ago. So, and, and she's laughing. She loves it. Um, you know, she she got her she got her paper and everything. And 
uh, she watches her TV and spends time with her with her older boyfriend. Um, but um, it, it's this is like 35 years or something, right? So I mean, like it's, this isn't. I, I well, I'm going to be 35, and as far as I know, like I don't have any memory of my grandparents being together. So and it's been the same guy even though they never got married or anything. So, I mean, it's like, you know, a long time, but he, he is older. So, you know, her older, her older boyfriend um, at, at 78 years old or whatever it is. Um, but uh, it's the truth of it. Um, you know, they go <laughs> go camping. Uh, but, 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 like, she's, she's, she's in full control of herself. She can walk to the store, get groceries. She can do everything that she could do. Um, before, uh, maybe a little bit slower, and, um, but I mean, when I was staying with her, like, she never, she never asked me to help her with groceries or anything, and in fact, if I were, if I were to offer, she'd get upset. She'd be like, no, I can do it. Um, yeah, I'm 78 years old, and, you know, yeah, you're young and, you know, in good health, but I, I, I can take my groceries up myself. I don't need your help. Um, it, you know, 80 years ago, that didn't happen, right? 80 years ago, if you made it to 65, you were the esteemed, you know, gray-haired, older, elder member of society. Um, and that was the exception. Um, of course, it's not entirely true either. Um, if you look at genealogical records, you'll see that lots of people made it older than that, but they were upper class, right? So it was a class-based thing. The idea that the lower class gets to live to be 90 years old is not something that anybody thought was going to happen when they set the retirement age to 65. Um, point being, um, like that's, well, I mean, it, let's go back to the 1200s, you know, like you'd be lucky if you made it to 40, right, if you're able to, you know fight off the diseases and the barbarians and everything else, right? Um, you know, the, you know, the Christians and, and all, the, all the other crazy people, you know? So, um, that's, it, it, you know, it, who knows, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of like hundred years from now we'll be, you know, walking around as, you know, bionic half robots and, you know, life expectancy will be 150, you know? And, if you ever want to travel the stars, we got to get, you know, life expectancy in the thousands. That's a, it's a point that a lot of people kind of get lost on. You know, they, they say, you know, space travel is impossible because the distances are too large and we can't, we can only move at a fraction of the speed of light. It's all very true and everything. But if you could imagine a species that could live for 20,000 years, and they could travel very large distances because they can live that long. And in fact, if you can imagine a species that can engineer themselves to live that long, then space travel doesn't become such a strange idea anymore. Even if you're moving at, you know, half half, half of the speed of light, um, which itself would be an accomplishment. So, um, yeah, all that to say that um, we do all die. Um, and, and that's not really um, uh, a, a significant, I mean, it, losing a couple of years in your twilight um, it, it is not, at my, at least at my age, it doesn't seem like such a, such a terrible thing. Um, I have a low battery. Um, and, uh, but, but, um, am I going to end this here? I think I'm just going to stop with the low battery. I, I was just trailing anyways. So it's close to three and there's the last one. Um, am I having second thoughts? Yes and no. Um, it's really weather dependent. Um, how far have I made it? I've made it to track 15. Um, which is not going to take too, too long. Um, 16, I just need to fade in. I'm not sure about 17. Um, I don't think I modified 17, so I think I've only got one version to play with. Um, 18 is flat, like, like it'll just come up as it is. And um, I'm not sure about 19, but I don't think it'll be too dramatic. Um, 
so I'm going to have this now. Um, and then I'm going to take my pills. Um, and then I'm going to see what I can get done. Um, it's like over 10 degrees out right now, apparently. Um, I've been out a few times, and it's gorgeous. Um, so um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, is I am going to finish the cigarette, um, finish the mix, um, and when I get that feeling again, I'll check the weather. Um, if I can finish this record this afternoon, um, I think I can run through the next batch of singles pretty quick. Um, which leaves me to mixing the second record. Um, the second record, well, this it, it this is taking me, I guess, five days to do. Do I think the second will take that long? Um, logic would dictate it probably would, um, but I, I, I think I left more of those tracks unaltered, meaning I have a lot... Um, less source material to play with. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, I know that um, if, if, I, if I get through this in a few hours and it's still 10 degrees out um, and the weather tells me that it's going to be you know five or six degrees overnight um, and the cold front that they were expecting is going to be weaker than they thought or take longer, then it makes sense for me to extend the process through another day. Um, I, I pointed out before that it was weather dependent. Um, on the other hand, if I get through it and, you know, the weather station is telling me, you know, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be cold whether you like it or not, um, then I'm going to have to just deal with it. Um, it's, this is also, um, if, if I go through with this, um, like if I buy another pack, um, I actually that, that that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to smoke it slowly if I'm trying to get it done before the weather turns. Um, rather, what's more likely is I may end up throwing half of it out if it gets too cold. So, um, that's my thinking with that. Um, so, is that my last cigarette? Um, my as I've stated, I think this is the fourth time now. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I'm getting it, it's it, it's getting close to it. Um, I'm getting close to that point. Um, it's just this. I, I I didn't think I'd be reconstructing my first two records, um, and and I really want to be able to focus on it. But at the same time, I I don't want to go out in the cold. So, um, and it's uh it's a good. Ex I mean, it, it's not like it's going to be minus thirty, but um. It's an incentive to, you know, get going on this, too. Um, and then there's the pills on the 13th. Um, am I going to put that off a few more days, even though I've already put it off a month? I it, I want to... Let's, let, let's go through this process as it is and deal with it when it comes up. Um, I, I, I think it's likely. But um, I'll, I'll see how I feel in a few hours. It's a little after five, and it seems like that probably was my last cigarette. Um, if I buy a pack of cigarettes, um, I'll smoke a couple of them, go to sleep around two or three, wake up, um, and then it'll be cold. If I don't buy a pack of cigarettes, I will probably go to sleep a couple hours earlier, um, and likely sleep through most of the day. Um, so the difference is a couple of hours. Um, I'd probably throw most of the pack out. Um, it's not worth it. So it looks like um, I'm smoke free. Um, there's a little bit of free tobacco in the house, like loose tobacco. Um, it was for use with um, the Christmas present. Um, which has been put aside for a birthday present. Um, birthday's on the 13th, it's the 9th. Um, I've been thinking about that, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I was thinking, you know, when I get to this point, 
I, I, I think I probably want to give myself the Christmas, sorry, the birthday present of being smoke-free rather than the birthday present of um, feeling okay for more than a few hours. Um, but, um, so, I'm going to want to probably get rid of that um, before it gets cold. So that's in the next 12 hours. Um, but I want to finish this project first so that I can enjoy the Christmas present, birthday present, um, while I'm listening to a fully sequenced version of my first record. I was actually kind of hoping I could get the two of them together so that I could listen to the full thing all the way through. In the end, this might actually end up as a double record. Um, I mean, like, if it ever gets pressed or released as a... I mean, I'm sure that that's how it'll get done, as a, as, as, as a 2 by LP. Um, but um, uh, that's going to mean I'm going to be waiting uh, probably another week, and I don't want to do that. So um, that's how that's going to work out. Um, for right now, my, the bass seems to have gone out a little. Um, I'm not sure what the what the reason for that is, if I'm getting some interference or the... Uh, change in temperature, or even just if it's, I, I've got the, uh, I've got Fubar set up through ASIO. It's it's just running directly through ASIO, um, just to take the whole W a DM right out of the game because it does have an effect. Um, I would normally, I'm, I would like to upgrade to a newer version of Fubar that has the W DM built in. Um, right now, I'm using it because I'm not connected to the internet, and that's the thing. The newer versions of Fubar require that you launch a, or that you have a DLL installed in your Windows directory um, that is basically a dialer. So Fubar is spyware, basically. Um, or at least the newer versions are. Um, I know that many people will be upset by that. Um, it will be met by much denial. Um, but um, th th there's no reason why an audio player should refuse to launch unless there is a dynamic link library that is used for dialing. I, that, that there's no logic in, in forcing you to have that DLL installed before it even launches. Um, I, there's a couple of tricks I haven't tried. Like I haven't tried, like, popping a text file in and, and then giving it that name. Um, and then I'm kind of curious as to see what happens if I do try that. Um, right now I'm not connected to the internet, so it doesn't matter. Um, but 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 I, I, I don't like the premise of an audio player demanding that I load. I, the reason I have that file removed is because the only thing that it's used for is dialing. So, putting it back just so I can launch the ASIO um, is, is uh, like I say, it doesn't matter right now because I'm not connected, but if I was, I, I wouldn't want that. So, um, I, I, I may be in the, um, I, I, may, I may need to look for a new player um, as well. Um, something that uh, can interface directly with ASIO. But the point is that um, I may have, um, like, I, I was hitting it twice um, at the same time. I had the Cubase open and Fubar open, and they were both interacting with ASIO. ASIO tends not to like that, so that was, it, it might have been a user error on my behalf. Um, I'm hoping a reboot um, resolves it. Either way, I'm going to take the opportunity to get something to eat. Um, what have I got left? Um, I'm pretty sure I just finished track 15. Um, I did 13 and 14 a little earlier. I think I talked about 11. Uh, we, th we talked about that, right? Yeah. So um, 13 was pretty quick. Um, 14 didn't require anything. Um, and uh, 15, I, I needed to do a bit of a mix on it. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's done, but I want to double check it when it comes back up because the bass just cut right out um, on me um, when, I, when I tried to launch it um, in FUBAR with Cubase open. Um, 16 is just going to require a, a little bit of a fade near the end, so I've really got two tracks left. Um, I can finish that by the end of the night, even without cigarettes, 
I, I, I can keep myself awake long enough for that, um, and long enough to um, listen to the record. Um, so I am declaring that this will be finished by the end of the night, um, even, if I, even if I gotta drag myself, um, and um, I can uh, do the shower um, when I wake up in the morning. And um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave everything kind of aside until I, uh, until I can um, get, get uh, the second record done and focus on it from there. Um, that'll give me a few days to uh, kind of calm down, or at least that's what I'm thinking. Um, if I uh, wake up tomorrow and I'm just scatterbrained, um, I'll probably spend the day cleaning instead. Um, we'll find out. But um, for right now, um, I... I'm not sure I'm really going to have any... Well, I, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm, done, when I'm done the record. That's what I'll do. So it's about 11.30, and I can't get a clean signal out of the um, machine. Um, again, it's clearly the the air rather than the drivers or anything. Um, so I'm just going to bed, but um, hopefully it works itself out. Um, I'm just going to assume it's a Saturday night and there's a lot of shit in the air, and uh, I'll wait until tomorrow. But... Um, Something I want to point out is um, with a foil. Um, the foil has been mostly working um, for the last several weeks, um, although there have been several points where it's just been overwhelming and it's just like I gotta go do something else for a bit and come back. Um, what I noticed tonight, um, I mean, the, the drop was like sudden. I, I was I was mixing. And then the bass just like disappeared, um, and 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 I kind of remembered that um, I hadn't like I, I was getting charge build up in the chord, and it was shorting when I t touched it, and you know the solution was to drain the charge out of it just by grounding myself to the ground, um, but that wasn't happening. Um, and, and it seemed to be that the, those two things were tied together, that the um, muted bass sound was connected to the um, lack of a short or a lack of static in the, in the chords. Um, so I, I, I moved the foil down um, the uh, thing. And it took a little bit of time for it to come back, but it looks like I'm getting the static again. Um, what that suggests to me is that I may have um, shielded it a little bit too much. Um, and it may have, like, nulled something in the, um, uh, in, the in, in the driver's meaning that um, I more or less need to let the phones charge um, in the air. I know this is this, this is abysmal from a um, from an engineering standpoint in trying to get um, you know clean signals and whatnot but uh, such is the truth um, so, I, 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 I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm done this track, but I can't find, I can't finalize it because I can't hear it um, properly, um, and I can tell that because I can compare it to the other tracks. Um, so that's all I really learned tonight um, since the last update um, is that I need to wait till the morning. Um, I'm kind of fading anyways, so um, it is bedtime um, and. Um, hopefully I get this done tomorrow.